reminding myself, telling myself to remember how much I love the water and swimming. And how I'm going to have to find a pool when I get back. That's been good. Don't forget it. really loving reading Descartes. Um, so Paul posted today about well, so he's been doing Jane McGonagall, bettering yourself or whatever, and I just caught her TED, TED, TED Global, which was very moving. Um, she's doing amazing work, and now it's caught up in a very personal experience which, oh, it's huge, um, and key, I mean, now my mind's going to Nikhil, just posting, what are you waiting for on changing the world, let's disrupt it yourself, and listening to Jane's talk, and all the work we've done, um, and personal things that I've gone through, I really believe it's more about each of us disrupting ourselves. And that's the part that I'm reading now in Descartes. That's just huge about really can't change anyone else. So the most powerful thing you can do is talk to yourself, change yourself, think for yourself. I'm thinking the agency that this boy took to learn how to play the guitar from Preston. just had. I mean, it was surreal watching them. And maybe that's the part of why self-directedness is so key is because there seems to be nothing like the connection then with those mentors. Maybe especially after you virtually accessed them. You've used your agency to learn from them without them even knowing. And then meeting up with them. Um, <laughs> so that was incredible, and then having Paul post about um, self-directedness, self-directed learning, and of course he went back, like Thomas has gone back, and Mary Ann, all these amazing people around me, and have researched it in very academic and how detox is fitting to that. Um, to me, that's the beauty of all this. It's, it's all about a fractal. It's a simple story, fractal. At the ball game last night, people would bring up one story, just one story, and 10, 15 people there would be like, you know, 
this is in my mind now, they were doing this, but in my mind they were like standing in line or sitting in their chairs with their hands up waiting to be called on to tell their story. That's just like that story. That's what fractals are.